Now the first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Winters. One year ago, our average high during the month of July in 2012 was 92.1 degrees. This year, the highest temperature we reached at all was 92 degrees at the Eastern Iowa Airport. Our average high down 82.1, so it was comfortable this year, certainly, and certainly a little bit below normal. 61.6 has been our average low through the month, and we were below normal on precipitation, as we can see, by about an inch and a half. We had close to two and three quarters of an inch. Our coldest low just happened last Monday with 48 degrees. August comes tomorrow. Take a look at pinpoint Doppler radar. Earlier tonight, we were looking for that possibility of an isolated shower or storm. We said most of it would stay away and stay away. It did. In fact, right now it is very quiet across the entire region and really no precipitation expected. Now, as we head through the next oh, 24 hours or so after that, we do have a chance of some rain. We'll show you that on pinpoint future cast coming up right now. Your current conditions down to 68 in Charles City, 69 in Cedar Rapids, 63 degrees in Dubuque, mostly clear skies now with us. And that's good news because it'll allow those temperatures to drop a little bit and the dew points are dropping as well. Upper 50s now toward Decorah and Charles City. That's very, very comfortable. In fact, that takes the muggy meter between 55 and 60 on our dew points and brings that comfortable air in for the day tomorrow. Notice the quiet conditions right now back across Iowa into the plains, but there is another storm lurking back off across the Rockies and now down into the central areas of the plain states. That's what heads our way tomorrow night into the day on Friday and does bring a pretty good chance of rain across the state. Now, Pinpoint Futurecast paints clouds across the state tonight. It's clear right now. We're going to stay clear. So we'll look for clear skies tonight, sunny skies to start tomorrow. Now, by the afternoon, I think our model starts to handle things a little bit better. We notice some clouds moving in, and by 6 p.m., some scattered showers and storms in the western part of the state overnight. Some scattered storms possible as we head into Friday morning. Then we'll see a couple of rounds of scattered showers, I think, as we head through the day on Friday, giving us a good soaking rain, which we can certainly use. Here's a look at our forecast. 58 to Cora, 60 in Cedar Rapids, 62 in Iowa City, mostly clear. A west wind expected at 5 to 10 with highs tomorrow near 80. That's slightly below that normal high of 83 degrees and the winds will still remain out of the northwest about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Extended forecast. A wet Friday, but a dry Saturday. Nice for the farmer's market in downtown Cedar Rapids, starting off at 61 degrees. Sunday looks quiet as well with 80. Monday, a scattered shower with 79. Another chance of showers on Wednesday at high at 75 degrees. Bruce and Beth are back with more next. Keep it here on your 24-hour news and weather source, TV9.